Hello. <laughs> I'm a grown ass woman. Hi, I'm Sandra. Why am I making this video? Well, I'm trying to practice my English and I'm doing it in front of a camera because I'm a masochist in some ways, I guess. Oh my god, why am I laughing? <sighs> okay, so this is it. Me moving to London. That's the only thing I've been doing recently. So I moved here from Sweden. Yes, I'm Swedish. Yeah, yeah. Why, why is that always the thing in movies? It's like German, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, the thing is with London is like the capitalism here is so much more pronounced than in Sweden. It's like in Sweden, estate agents actually like help you get the place that you want or like help you sell a place and they're, they can be a bit like money grabbing. But in England, it's like in London, I guess. Maybe it's because it's a big city, but they've been so dishonest and so booty. I'm sorry, my cat is playing with my headphones. <laughs> Do you want to say hi to my cat? Oh my god, wait a minute, wait a minute. Booty. <laughs> no, she ran away. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to tell you a story about how we came to live in this place. I was literally walking all over London like seeing apartments and they were horrible they were like so small everything was like falling apart it was renovated but very badly done like yeah this one amazing time this estate agent actually took me down to a cellar the ceiling was like this high and I was like oh my god I can't even stand up in here I was so freaked out and he was like no come closer come in like step down those reedy ladders that has been sinking into the ground like the mud in this cellar no like flooring or anything and he was like this is such a selling point and I was like oh what's happening and they were so dishonest and tried to get me to pay like so much money for like this shitholes like this one place that was stinking of cat piss like so bad it was horrible then we actually got this place and I like this place because it's beautiful but it's really it's a really great apartment but it's like super small I guess I'm super happy about it anyways that's how I ended up in here that's how the story begins yes I do have a mental disorder I know you were thinking about it. does she does she is she crazy for real yes I am yes <laughs> The thing is, we moved into this place, unfurnished. That was fine, I guess, but we were living here like for more than two weeks without a bed, without, without a dining room table, without chairs, without anything. Because we were finding it really hard to get like furniture to our place. Now, we know that you can just call an Uber XL and they won't like like it, but you can. So we should have done that, but we didn't. We ordered furniture from this online company, online furnishing company. Oh my god, my nerves are like really... No, I'm fine. I'm very relaxed. Very natural in front of the camera, as you can see. <laughs> okay, so what happened was that we ordered furniture from this online furnishing company. I was like, they were like, yeah, we'll get it to you in two days, max. Of course, that wasn't the case. We waited for like, yeah, two and a half weeks almost for like a bed and a dining room set and when they actually sent us the dining room set, it was the wrong one. So, long story short, I ended up bawling my eyes out like really, really hysterically crying on the phone with their customer service and that poor girl was horrified he was like what's happening and I was like don't send me furniture that I didn't order and she was like just sign for it and then you send it back and you get your money back and I was like no I can't have furniture standing in the 
very teeny tiny hallway downstairs. That's that's not happening. Uh, I have neighbors, you know, and I'm not carrying all the furniture upstairs because that shit is heavy. Oh my god, I carried the bed by myself upstairs, and that was like. I had bruises on my body from that from that point on. I don't know how long I've been doing this, but I've been talking to this camera like it's my only friend forever. I'm getting like slowly over my nerves, I guess. It's gonna take me a couple of more times maybe to get like comfortable, but I'm feeling loosey goosey baby. I'm talking to you, Haley. Oh my god, why am I doing this? Okay, okay. So, the move to London has not gone smoothly at all. No, it hasn't. And I've been reading like all these blogs about people giving up, like moving to London and then giving up, and I totally get it because everything is so expensive. Like when I was here maybe two years ago, I remember like getting a beer and it was like kind of cheap and fine, you know, but then I moved here and everything is more expensive. Like everything, everything is so expensive. I paid four times more for this apartment than I did for my apartment in Sweden. And the one in Sweden was so much bigger. <sighs> it's crazy. Yeah, but well, I don't pay anything because I don't have a job, but my husband does so. Oh, this is so awkward. This is so awkward. <sighs> I'm trying this out for the first time, so have mercy on me, please. Please have mercy. I have this real problem with remembering like song lyrics. I actually thought that I would be a singer for like the longest time. But then I realized I have a real problem with remembering lyrics. I just can't. Not even my own lyrics. It's like, I'm really bad at it. I watched that, you know, carpool karaoke thing with Adele and I was like, Oh my god, they're so good at remembering lyrics. That's really not what I should have been impressed by because it was really impressive, like, the singing and all, but... For me, it's impossible, bro. I really should try speaking normal English, like real proper English, but I'm just... I'm too much of a nerd, I guess. Too much of a dork. I'm just a fanger. This is weird. Is this weird? I think it's weird. <laughs>